what you said about how people are more into the idea of, of religion than they, than they are God. It's beautiful. I don't think I've ever heard it put that clear. It's, it's refreshing to know that somebody's... Here's your check. Thanks, man. You can be on your way. Thanks. Something wrong? Let's just say I don't think we'll be having Rich Mullins and his ragamuffin band back anytime soon. Steve, everybody loved him. Not the music. Your sermon. It made some of the congregation uncomfortable. You mean it made you uncomfortable? The way you talk about God's love and grace for people makes them think that they can go out and live their lives however they want, and God's grace doesn't give people a license to sin. What is it about God's love that is so dangerous to you? God is wild. And his love doesn't always make sense, especially to people like you. Rich. No, no, no. I'm so sick of these judgmental, hypocritical pastor types that want people to follow religion over Jesus. I, no, no, no. no. Th no. This guy... You walk around pretending to be perfect. You expect your church members to be perfect because, God forbid, they show an ounce of honesty. They come out of hiding for just a minute to show their brokenness. They're going to get met by you with shame and not compassion. Did you see the sign on the front of the church? It says, Pastor Steve Jennings, not Rich Mullins. Your check. You know what? Keep it. In fact, I saw some homeless people not far from here. Just give it to them. Rich, don't worry about him. <sighs> He's going through a rough time. Yeah. Would you give the pastor our apologies? No. He'll be okay. He knows you're right. Doesn't mean he should have gone off like that, though. Sorry. I'm not.